I am so grateful for all of you. Guys, this was a good challenge. Even though it does not seem like we're going to get a 100, 130 subscribers. That's a number that less. I'm forever grateful for the people who took part on this challenge and also this journey with me. The journey, of course, I have not finished yet, but the challenge will be finishing back tomorrow. So, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really, really grateful for everyone tuned in there, everyone who commenting, everyone Every day we're releasing videos because we have been releasing video every day since last since last sunday for us the goal was or still is to get 1000 subscribers for this channel so therefore we have now one 130 subscribers left just for us to reach 1000 subscribers this is season four let's get down to business oh tech nice <laughs> My Mushu pork. <laughs> oh. oh, there you have it, gentlemen. Our entire dinner unpacked by robot. <laughs> nice. 28 minutes. Impressive, but we must be cautious. Today, it's a Chinese food retrieval robot. Travels back in time and tries to kill Sarah Connor. <laughs> really? I've been shouting. No one ever does. <laughs> That's why it happened. <laughs> hey, is food here? Hey, pens. Ooh. That, dear lady, is the Wallowitz programmable hand designed for extravehicular repairs on the International Space Station. Oh, does that come up much on the space station? Mostly with Asian and Jewish astronauts. <laughs> it's a soy sauce. Coming up. Wait, is is right in a coat? Sounds work. <laughs> yeah, hungry. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> you realize, Penny, that the technology that went into this arm killed food servers such as yourself obsolete. Oh wow! Thanks for that. Robot so that spits on your hamburger. I thought you broke up with her. Why is she here? <laughs> okay, here we go. Passing the soy sauce. <laughs> At best, it's a modest leap forward from the- Oh my, there's a Shelly, man. Hey, Sheldon? Yes. <laughs> it's supposed to be middle finger, no? Peace? No, not peace. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no peace. It's supposed to be something different, bro. NASA know you're using that thing as a napkin holder? Kidding, they still think it's in a secure locker at JPL. This guy broke so many lows, man. Borrowed. The trick is to carry it out to your car like you own it. Oh. Oh, Amy's it's Amy. at the dry cleaners and she's made a very amusing pun. For perchloroethylene and I don't like glycol ether. It's dry for us, but it makes sense for them. <laughs> Get it? She doesn't like glycol ether. Either. Sounds like either. <laughs> L O L. <laughs> girlfriend. Sheldon has a girlfriend? She's been going on. Four months. She's not my girlfriend. Four months. Past four months, I have been asking you, and you never thought to go with Sheldon has a girlfriend? <laughs> th 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 how did they meet? <laughs> Sight and it spit out Amy Farrah Fowler. Oh, my God. Sheldon and Amy. Or as we call them, Shamey. <laughs> oh, Shamey. So digging the Shamey. Oh, <laughs> friend named Amy Farrah Fowler. Yes, we communicate on a daily basis. She is not my girl. Okay, if you say so. Well, what do you communicate about? Well, my work in physics and neurobiology, the possibility of our having a child together. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Text and Amy pointed out that between the two of us, our genetic potential of producing the first in a line of intellectually to guide humanity to a brighter tomorrow. Uh, so that's why you really? I'm guessing that future historians will condemn us. For not <laughs> Wait. Oh, <laughs> Wait. I thought they were not supposed to have sex. I even like people touching you. How are you going to have sex? Yeah. Why on earth would we have sex? <laughs> <laughs> good. Mom not have the talk with you. Private parts started growing. I'm quite aware of the way humans usually reproduce, which is living next to you for three years, involves loud and unnecessary appeals to a deity. <laughs> oh, 
God. Yes, exactly. Uh, consequently, if Amy and I choose, it will be accomplished clinically no, with fertility course. experts in a lab. You have broad hips. Is your womb available for rental? Still digging the shamey? <laughs> Oh, no. The clinic, you might want to think about, uh, gee, I don't know, maybe actually spending some time with her. I can't date Amy. Why not? Girlfriend. Oh, gosh. Okay, look, don't think, think of it as um, getting to know the future mother of your child. Yeah. I hadn't considered that. Access to our progeny. And you don't think I can achieve the required intimacy? No. Oh, it appears as if the phone companies have been lying to me. Oh, Fun company, really? Well, for the third one, Penny. You do realize I stand on the other side of the door waiting for you to finish knocking three times. I know. I can see the shadow of your feet under the door. Point is, it's a waste of time. Couple of a waste of time, I would refer yeah, to the conversation we're having we right go. now. I've decided to take your advice and have arranged to go on a date. You have to drive me. Wait, what? Go ask Leonard. I did. I quote, ask Penny. It was her cockamamie idea. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, actually uh, I'm paraphrasing. Uh, Raised in a Christian household, I'm uncomfortable with the language he used. To be honest, I'm not entirely comfortable with cockamamie. But he said okay, it. Fine, when's the date? Now! Her Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Sheldon, did it ever occur to you that I might have other plans? Sorry, do you have other plans? No. <laughs> no, not per se. Uh, Conversation is well, the one that says your door knocking well, soliloquy. Uh, look at that. Um, <laughs> you know, I really sound like you paid him more and more. Wait, you sleep with the robots? What? Oh, baby. I'll eat later, I'm busy! Oh, yeah, just like a real hand. <laughs> no, don't think about it. No. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for driving me. I wish you weren't wearing flip-flops to drive in flip-flops. Take a cab. I just don't want to be yet another flip-flop fatality. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Given your community college education, I encourage you to ask me as many as possible. <laughs> Is this your first date? Does square dancing with my sister at a Teens for Jesus for- And this is my first date. Then okay. this is my first well, date. there's a couple of things you should probably know. I have a master's degree. I do know. I know more about dating than you. If you know so much, how come I have a date tonight and you, you have don't... nothing better to do than drive me to it? Uh... Fair point. You know, there's something I've always wondered about Aquaman. You always wonder about Aquaman. What? What did the toilet look like in Atlanta? How would you flush it? Uh, and when you did flush it? Where's it go? Where would the poop go? <laughs> we get it, the water. Hold that thought. Hold on, Howard. Howard, slow down. The oh, robot no. hand is stuck on your what? Hmm. Howard. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> I feel we will. I feel we, we, we believe that. Why is she sitting at the back by herself? So, um, Amy, Sheldon tells me you're a neuro something or other. Your check engine light is on. Oh. <laughs> but the light indicates. Don't bother. I've wasted many an hour tilting at that particular. Uh, what is that scent you're wearing? It smells great. Dandruff shampoo. I have dry scalp. Well, your hair looks very nice. Are you a homosexual? Oh, no. Would have been more flattered if you were a homosexual. Music! Oh, no, I wouldn't care. No, thank you. Uncomfortable silence it is. Hey, Sheldon, have you told Amy what it was like for you growing up? Why don't you tell her? It was hell. That's it. No. It works for them, Penny. Stop, stop trying so hard. I myself grew up in Nebraska. How is this better than uncomfortable silence? Muggles. <laughs> You slipped and fell into a rip. <laughs> so you lie. Penis you... first. <laughs> yes. Now help me. I'd suggest a lubricant, but I have a feeling you fell on some of that as well. <laughs> yes, that's... My hand's got a death grip on your junk, dude. That's funny. You ask anyone. <laughs> Since ah yeah 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 yeah, Columba. Winnie the Pooh, a honey tree, his friends all grabbed onto him and pulled and pulled. You do what you want, I'm not touching another man. <laughs> you do what you want, you're by yourself. One circumcision was enough. <laughs> but I made cookies for you and your little friend. I'll bring them up with some Hawaiian punch. Punch. Are you ashamed of your mother? <laughs> but that's not the point. <laughs> 
<laughs> Any ideas, Raj? Right now, all I can think about is cookies and Hawaiian pie. <laughs> Raj, Raj is dumb. Hey, here's another possible topic of conversation. This is a big night for Sheldon. Big night? The winter solstice is a big night. It's over 14 hours in Southern California. That's an amusing factoid. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, no, my point is, uh, tonight is Sheldon's first official date. Discuss. Is this true? Incestuous teens for Jesus, 4th of June count. That's it. Amy, what about you? Once a year. It's a deal I made with my mother in exchange for her silence on the matter. George Foreman grill that seals in the flavor without the fat. What about you, Penny? Do you go on many dates? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say many. A few. <laughs> What's... Uh... 171 different men is a few. Where did you get 171 men? In the three years that I've known you, you were single for two suitors. If we work backwards, correcting for observation bias and... Did not start dating at 15. I I'm believe sorry, Sheldon. 16, 14. I believe Sheldon. So I've known this. Now, assuming the left side of a bell curve, peaking around the present, that would bring the total up 93 men. Remarkable. Did you have sexual intercourse with all of these men? Yeah. No, although that number would be fairly easy oh. to count. <laughs> <laughs> number of times she's returned home wearing the same clothes she wore the night but we multiply 193 minus 21 oh, 172 times 1 8 gives us 30.96 sexual partners wow let's round that up to 31 <laughs> you are so wrong that is not even close to think over here <laughs> very interesting cultural perception <laughs> to your mind are you a slut oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll finish our dinners, okay? Interesting topic. How many sexual encounters have you had? I'm cheering for a scientific experiment in which orgasm was achieved chronically stimulating the pleasure centers of the brain count. Then 128. <laughs> does, does it really count? Come on. <laughs> Almost there. No tugging. Take your own advice. Excuse me, could you help us out? Oh. Uh, mama, what do we have? <laughs> I know. Slipped and fell. We get that a lot. <laughs> uh, robot arm. Where's the rest of the robot? I only built the arm. Because that's all you needed. <laughs> Help a man out! No, 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 I need no! Oh no! I got a grasping a man's penis. Ah! Uh, a little more discreet. We don't have a code for robot hand grasping a man's penis. <laughs> Try turning it off and back. Okay, didn't do that. No, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is out of the honey tree. <laughs> Any of cookies and Hawaiian punch? Oh, he's right, you're still thinking about that damn. We're right. This was a very productive evening. Yeah, on penis, on penis count. I did not have sex with 31 guys. I'll be happy to check the math, but numbers don't lie, Penny. In any event, now that Amy and I have, I feel much more confident proceeding to the next stage of our relationship. Using in vitro fertilization and a surrogate uterus to progeny. You're still on that? In these uncertain times, deserve a gift. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna come at this in a whole new way. To make a baby with Amy in a Petri dish, I'm mother on you. That's no threat. Really, you're a deeply religious, born-again Christian mother and baby born out of wedlock? Oh. <laughs> Curses. <laughs> that in the first place, I could have saved myself this whole night. Well, it's not that late. You could still go out and look for number 32. <laughs> Good night. I've decided not to procreate. Yeah, yeah, great. How, uh, slow down. What do you mean it happened again? Oh, what? You did a guy. Working on a new plan to catch the Roadrunner? Location being that I am Wiley Coyote. Schematic for a bird trapping device. Fire and cause me physical injury. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing here is trying to determine when I'm going to die. A lot of people are working on that research. <laughs> My family history, factoring in longevity, propensity for disease, etc. Interesting. Cause of death for Uncle Carl was KBB. What's KBB? By Badger. How's that? 
Yeah. It was Thanksgiving. Carl said, I think there's a badger living in our chimney. Those were the last words he ever spoke to us. The fight or flight instinct is coded genetically. Instead of... You can always get a badger and find out. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, the Uncle Carl factor, at best, I have 60 years left. How long, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? It takes me to here. I need to get to here. What's that? The earliest estimate of the singularity. Hands for his consciousness into machine and achieve immortality. So you're upset about missing out on becoming some sort of... By this much? <laughs> Tough break, you want eggs? You don't get it, Leonard. I'm going to miss so much. The unified field theory, cold fusion. The dogopus. What's a dogopus? Yeah. Bred dog and octopus. <laughs> Water best friend. Are you working on that? I was going to. I'm giving it to myself on my 300th birthday. Wait, you hate dogs. A dogopus can play fetch with eight balls. No one can hate that. <laughs> Came to 28.17, let's say six bucks a piece. I love the way they eat, though, as a family, man. <laughs> but it was the money, bro. Never mind, I got it. Oh, you wanted me to pay? <laughs> no. No, 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 you're right. We're not going out anymore. I should pay for what? <laughs> no, he, he said if he had woman parts, he'd eat for free the rest of his life. Right, man. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho! Cash. How much you got? Nothing. So why did you pull out your purse? I'm cute. Your purse. It's okay, you can open. No, thank you. I'm not eating pizza tonight. Pizza night. Not for me. Now cruciferous vegetable night. Ah, uh, you tried to to live longer. Really? You're changing the Sheldonian calendar? It's a small price to pay. No, no, don't ask our side to live long enough to fuse my consciousness with cyber. Penny, you always fall for this. Oh, she always fall for this. Bot stuff, right? Correct. So you want to turn yourself into some sort of robot? Okay, here's my question. Didn't you already do that? Flattering, but sadly, no. I'm also planning to begin an exercise. Penny's character really is getting absolutely loving it now. K.A. Okay, jogging. Okay. Honey, have you ever run before? From bullies. Dogs. Angry chicken. <laughs> particularly persistent PE teacher. Me over and give me a scoliosis test. You're right. Penny jogs. Maybe you guys can run together. An excellent idea. No. <laughs> Raj. Yeah, if we <laughs> chat, <laughs> it will create the illusion of time going faster. No, it won't. Not for her. Hey, how does he know I jog? From his car with high-powered binoculars. Oh my god! <laughs> I bet I would. Says he's not gonna stop. <laughs> but then see a shrink and figure out how to talk to women. <laughs> that's not even right, that's just I would. I have pain radiating from my navel to my lower right. I'm nauseated and feverish. There's no cholera in Pasadena. Yes. Cholera, based on a quick internet search, the other explanation. <laughs> when would you have accidentally eaten chrysanthemum blossom? Part of an unlikely scenario that involves sleepwalking in a 24-hour flower mart. With I had your appendix out. I haven't. I've been meaning to, but who has the... Let's get you to the hospital. <sighs> so this is how it ends. A vestigial organ. Yet I'm doomed while you live on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're never dead yet, bro. Worked out, isn't it? Oh, Lord, I think it's about to burst. <laughs> On the other hand, it might have been the Brussels sprout. Good night, Decidus. What a nervous Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> Penny. Oh, no. Penny. Hey, nice knees. Thank you. They're my mother's. Hi. Where's your heart rate monitor? I don't have one. What about your pedometer? Do you have telematics in your shoes connected to an iPod? I do. You just go out there and gamble uh, about like a Just boxer. run. Run till I'm hungry and then I stop for a bear claw. Why are you doing that? Oh, it's good to stretch your muscles. All right, let's uh, start with a toe touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you do it. He's doing it. I am doing it. <laughs> oh, wow. Good job. Okay, um, can you do this? We'll never know. I've been reading up on biomechanics. Rise to my ah! Oh! Oh my god, are you okay? <sighs> Let me help you up. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> If it makes you Classic. feel any better, Thursday is no longer cruciferous. <laughs> 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 
Howard, your shrimp teriyani. <laughs> what's it good, what's it gonna eat? And for Rajesh Kuthra Pali, from whose homeland these tasty dishes. One large order of chicken McNuggets. Hey, what's my share? Makes sense. Uh, Friday when I get paid? Sure. What am I up to now? <laughs> you remember everything? Uh, Will you shout it down? A little over $1,400. What now? He's just expressing his admiration. You don't even have to put out to get free stuff. <laughs> it's not free. I'm going to pay him back. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Jordan, are you going to join us? Coming. Oh, my days. Shelly. Greetings, friends. I am a mobile virtual presence device. Demonstrated to me that my body is too fragile to until such time as I am able to transfer my consciousness in a secure location and interact with the world in this man. Really? That's your question? When did he put a ramp in? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true though. What? That's my seat. You're in my spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you gonna see that? <laughs> this may seem a little odd at first. Gotta be honest, I don't see much difference. Thank you. That's what I was going for. <laughs> now, Leonard, tomorrow when we go to work, you'll need to allow some extra time stairs. So I'm coming to talk to you. Well, you don't know where I am. You're in your bedroom. No, I'm not. I can hear your voice coming from your bedroom. No, you can't. <laughs> so either one of you weirdos want to buy my underwear? Only 1400 bucks. <laughs> I'm behind you. I am looking at you. No, you're not. Pay no attention to that man in the bed. Good God. Do you know how I'm statistically most likely to die? The hands of your roommate? Mm, that's how I'm gonna make a look. Durable container. My body will remain safely in... You have to help. It's in the roommate agreement. I'll be damned. <laughs> this is delightful. It's much easier to enjoy the picturesque route we travel to work when you remove the specter of fiery vehicular death. Because I called shotgun, remember? <laughs> you seem tense. No, st of course, man. We'll relax you. I don't want to listen to music, Sheldon. <laughs> Together in this car with my enhanced capability. Except in Knight Rider, the car isn't a yammering sphincter. But the sphincter is a class of muscle without which human beings... Bazinga! <laughs> <sighs> and I'm safe and sound in bed. Who's crazy now? I'm still gonna go with you! <laughs> Leonard, my door. Be a lamb and open it for me. Oh, I think a doorknob has you stymied. <laughs> it's Leonard and R2D bag. <laughs> Raj, be a lamb and open the door for me. He's a lamb. You're not. not. I'm a lamb. I knew it, this guy. Isn't this nice? Without having to tolerate your germy breath on my skin. Oh, great. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll be your waitress. I'd rather people not know I have any prior connection to you whatsoever. Can you the tell me the specials this evening? Obviously. I don't even have water yet. You're not here. I'm going to have to go over your head. <laughs> Manager? Manager? Look who it is. Steve Wozniak? I think it is. Uh, uh, Penny, uh, Steve Wozniak was one of the co-founders of Apple Computer. I must speak to him. <laughs> it's always must. Olive Garden down the street. You guys should try it sometime. Excuse me, Mr. Wozniak. Thank you. I just want to say I'm a big fan. Still six spots above Steve Jobs. I care neither for turtlenecks nor showmanship. You had it here. I'd autograph it for you. Don't move for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how the buses are running. Nerds. <laughs> Did you say nerds? I'm coming, Waz. Yeah, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. Oh. Oh. Penny. What up, Shellbot? Shellbot? I can't get out of bed. I hurt my ankle. Sing me Soft Kitty. Really? You want me to sing Soft Kitty to a computer monitor? You'd rather come over and sing it to me in person? Soft Kitty. <laughs> Soft kitty, warm kitty, little boy. <laughs> Are you gonna sleep? Happy kitty, sleep. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, my f the first episode was my, my my favorite at the moment, but the second one was, was okay-ish. But then I cannot wait what's, what's, what's coming ahead because people have been saying um, season four is actually one of the best seasons of of um, Big Bang Fairy. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Do subscribe to the channel and we'll see you tomorrow. Happy Saturday. Peace.